I just want to say this, because I, I get this, and I've told you I get this almost every single week. This ministry is supported by your tithes and offerings. We do not promote, I don't sell, there isn't anything here, we're not raising money. Even some of the old time people have said, well, you don't even do projects or secrets like Dr. Gene Scott used to do, and that's correct. I believe that if people are taught and enlightenment begins to come, uh, we'll call it higher education from this book, there should be a response, there should be a desire to participate. Uh, you know, a lot of churches operate on a business model that basically is, well, if you don't give, we won't do this or we won't do that. I've said to you, this ministry, this entire ministry, has functioned basically by the grace of God and saying, I'm trusting the people who are able to respond to do their part. I haven't ever begged people or said, if you don't, uh, the Bible's pretty clear about folks who basically sit at the table, eat, and don't pay. It's, it's abundantly clear. If you're not clear about that, there's tons of teaching on the network to clear that up, or maybe you need to read the most recent, recent released pulpit, which has a lot of teaching on that subject, which may be incredibly helpful for those people who just think that giving is an afterthought within the church. It is not. <laughs> This house, magnify the Lord, lift up holy hands, our hearts in one accord, worship and bow down before Him.